Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. I got something a little different for you today. This is a USB cable tester. You're probably thinking, holy crap, they make those? That's what I thought. I heard about this and I'm like, hey, I gotta have one of these. So the idea is we've got, most of us have tons of cables. You don't know if they're good. You don't know if they're power only. You don't know if they have data transfer. You don't know if they have high speed data transfer. You don't know anything about it unless the cable happens to have some sort of lettering on it that tells you exactly what it is. And unfortunately, most of them do not. So being able to use a quick test with a quick visual look and tell whether or not, A, the cable is even good. Maybe your cat chewed through part of it. You don't know if it's good or not. Not that that's ever happened to me, of course. Um, but you also wanna know whether or not it does data transfer. So let's take a look at how this thing works. Pretty much you can plug in anything that's USB, micro, mini, you got it. Everything's in here, including these weird ones, uh, along with lightning, which we're not gonna be testing lightning stuff today, but I'll show you the other stuff. And basically you plug it in on one side and plug it in on the other side, you get a reading, it's pretty cool. You can power this thing by the included coin battery or you can hook up what they call a VIN power. I'm not exactly sure what a VIN power is, but you can plug that in if you don't wanna use a battery and use this switch right here to tell you whether it's on VIN power or if it's on this uh, battery power. And that's a CR2032. So this is pretty cool. I got, a t I got so many cables and let's just take a look at some of these and see how it works. Let's look at this purple one first because it's kind of sticking out. So we'll grab this, we'll plug in the purple guy. Of course, it's always wrong, USB. And when you plug it in here, it tells you, okay, the shielding is good. That's something that's good to know. You'll also see something like a ground and a V bus. So that means ground and V bus means you've got power going through, perfect. Now, what about TX? No TX on either side. Nope, no TX, no TX, no RX. No RX, this is a power only cable. Now, what you don't know is, unfortunately with this particular device, you don't know how much juice you can push through it. What's the cable rated for? That would have been really cool to have, but that's the one thing that this doesn't show us, but that doesn't make it useless. Let's try something else. Let's try another one. This guy's very thick. Put this in. And this is a USB-C again. Okay, we've got a different set of lights here. We now have both, you know, we got ground and V-bus. We have a shield, so the cable is overall good. We do have TX uh, and no RX. As long as you have TX on one side or the other, it depends on how the cable is, then you know that you can do um, transmission of data, right? And um, you also have the D here. So you got sort of a combination here. You got the D plus and minus. That's the basic, I think, listen, I'm not an engineer. It's a basic data uh, feed, and then you've got the transmit test. So that looks like it'll be good. Now, if this thing were super fast, we get this RX, and I think I've got an RX uh, rated cable around here. So this is good for power, and it's good for at least data, not necessarily high speed data, but definitely data. So that's good to know, That's a that's a fine cable. So what we have here is my dog's barking and I have a double-ended USB-C cable. Hopefully I can nuke the dogs later. So we're gonna plug a C to C and let's see what we got. Okay, so once again, we definitely have the ground in the bus, cable's good. We also have data transfer. We do not have the TX here, hmm. Okay, so this means it's probably got very basic data capabilities. Um, no high speed data. It does have this CC2, which is some sort of a configuration thing. So I have a feeling that has to do with negotiation of high uh, drain devices or high uh, power connectivity. Not sure if anybody knows, leave it down in the comments below. I'm pretty sure that in this case, once you see a CC2, it means that it can negotiate. So it's got that more PD, uh, probably a higher speed. And that's something I can test. I know this came from a hundred watt uh, brick. So I know that this one is probably a uh, high power uh, transfer. So let's see what else we got here. Let's grab another one of these guys. This is again, USB-C. I do have a USB-A in here. I don't have a plethora of these kind of older cables hanging around anymore. So let's see what we got. All right, so we have V-Bus and ground. We have no transfers. Uh, this is literally just a power cable and that's it. The shield's good, ground is good, V-Bus is good. So the cable's good, but it's only good for power. So that's what we want. Okay, what's next? Let's grab this guy. This is a weird one. This has like a purple in here. 
have no idea what the purple means, but let's go ahead and plug this in. It's always the wrong way first, and this is C, so let's plug it into C. There's also a C down here, I think. Oh no, there's the USB, the micro USB there. So there we go. So ground, V bus, no transmission, no data. Oh, there is data, so basic data. Not the greatest cable, but sufficient. Is it this one? Yeah, okay, I knew I had one around here somewhere. Let's plug this guy in, and then this guy has to plug in at the bottom. And then you only see this leg. So we see ground, we have um, VBUS, and we have basic data. So pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, so this one I happen to know is a 60 watt, 10 gigabits per second cable. So this should be the mother load. This has 60 watts, so this is gonna be good high, uh, high power transfer as well as high speed transfer. Let's see what it says about this guy. This will be the, this will be the real winner here. Okay, we got we got a little bit of everything in here, right? We got our CC, we got our data, we got our um, we got our transmission, we got ground, we got V bus. So this to me, this sort of reconfirms, right? That the CC is we can put some serious juice through here. We got basic power, and we've got not only um, TX transmission. Oh, I guess we don't have the RX transmission. That's really weird. oh no, it's over here. So we got RX here, TX over here. This is like the greatest cable ever. So there you go. I mean, uh, I don't want to just sit here and drone on and on, but this is like really cool. It came with some sort of a back. So if you want to put this thing, uh, if you want to put this backing on it, there's some things here you can put in a little plastic case. Maybe it'll fit a pie case or something. I don't know. They probably have a case for it. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this real quick. This is something that if you've got this total mess of cables like I do, uh, something like this can really help you out. It's like 16 bucks on Amazon, won't break the bank. And I think this is something that like everybody should have in their toolkit. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'm Shane R. Monroe. Take care. We'll see you next time. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.